I do just want to, from a business perspective, uh, let you guys know why Alpha Core was so important. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think there's some things that maybe you don't see and, and uh, just want people to understand. But Alpha Core number one, Chuck Dixon, Joe Bennett, and uh, closing in, as of me doing this segment, 1.146 million, closing in on 1.15. Uh, almost 20,000 books sold. I haven't done the math as of late. I don't know if we passed that, but we'll see. I'm sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're close. Okay. But I've, I've said this a few different times, but I just want to just better conceptualize it or rather communicate it with you guys. Okay. Alpha Core was the first non ISOM property. And I, I think people lose sight of this. This is not called the ISOM verse, right? This is the river verse. If you want to make the argument, that ISOM is the proven property, you be correct. Because it did it once, and that was kind of people taking a leap of faith, and then it did it again with ISOM too, okay? So that's a mainstay. We know that characters um, uh, are liked enough to keep this shit going, okay? But Alpha Core was a different animal, right? First non-ISOM property. So you got these people that are invested in the universe, and it's also a change of speed, change of pace from what, ISOM is as far as the type of story is being told it being a police procedural but the type of characters it is not as grounded uh, and by grounded I'm meaning like you know you're dealing with a three man team with uh, with Alpha Core and they're very responsible right for the uh, well being of the city of Flores Park so very very important characters and, and they, they're a little different different change of pace they introduced an ISOM one but a different change of pace and it worked, right? Um, put some, put a team on it that I felt was going to be hand in glove. These guys love working with each other, and Joe Bennett and and Chuck Dixon and some other work Chuck this, Chuck's doing with us as well. Um, uh, but out of that, the entire company gets legitimized from the universe's standpoint. And, of course, we got Yaira around the corner. But it was, it was from a bit – because, look, just because I like something – does not mean the audience will, right? Just because a writer thinks they have a hit story does not mean that the audience is going to be responsive to that. Doesn't mean they're going to be interested in the characters. It's one of the first things that you learn about doing entertainment. Um, and this is why I'm always telling like aspiring creatives to stop giving a fuck about what it is their peers think because your peers don't matter. Uh, and I know peers get mad at me because I say this. They look at it like, oh, well, he's not respecting the game. Fuck y'all. At the end of the day, the customers are who matter, not peers, right? So if I don't like some shit, but someone else's customers like something and they it's proven to work, it is what it is. And if you don't like something and you're a peer, doesn't matter. The, cre the, the creatives that are creating are creating. I mean, I guess if you're doing just for some sort of self-fulfilling project, it is what it is. But in order for this to work, you got to create for people and that's for the customers. So, just because I like something or just because a writer likes something does not mean it, it is that they're going to like it, that the customer is going to like it. But thankfully, uh, with Alpha Core, people loved it. They loved the concept. They gambled on it. And, uh, we, you know, we're seeing these reviews come back and people are digging it. So important to the company. Right. I get to green light into the property as far as maybe, uh, you know, we got uh, Alpha Core 2. We got these other things that it is that we're doing. Obviously, you got the just the economics of having the reinvestment money to do other cool things with the Ripperverse um, uh, and, and all that. But you never know what these types of things. There are no guarantees, man. And just because I some is successful does not mean that another property is going to be successful. Inevitably speaking, there are going to be those uh, that don't do as well. Doesn't mean they failed. Um, I mean, yeah, there may be some brainless that are saying Alpha Core is failing because it's not doing uh, three point seven million dollars. But if, if if millions of dollars is failing, then I, I'll fail some more. But there's no direct transfer. It's a completely different property. It's in the same universe. But everybody, I mean, you, everybody that buys Spider-Man books don't buy Punisher books, right? The discrepancy there between the sales of Amazing Spider-Man as well as uh, whatever Punisher uh, uh, book is out. Because, well, that doesn't mean that the Punisher is a failure. That it, no, I'm not saying that. It just means that it's a different property. So the fact that we have a second property that people are invested in, and I hope to have many, many more, 
it's so important to the growth of the company, especially early on, because I don't have uh, billionaire backers. So I can't afford to make a mistake. I have to go based on the beat of the customers. And to me, that's how it should be. That's how a market should act. Um, it, it, it keeps us in check. Um, but also it'd be fiscally irresponsible for me to just green light everything. And then, you know, nothing's proven. We got to kind of take it step by step and to have a second property that uh, looks like it's going to be very dependable for us. So as long as, uh, you got like a professional like Chuck Dixon on it, um, and it's good stories and people are into it. We're going to be fine. And that means a lot to this company. It means a lot. It, it means a lot. It was so uh, important to get that second property and have it be successful because again, it legitimizes the company and it, uh, it just, it lets us know kind of what our trajectory is even more so, uh, because I, some can be successful as I, needs to be, but I, is an alpha core and alpha core isn't Yaira and Yaira isn't Gooding and the other projects it is that we're, we've got worked on. We're, we're working on as well. Everything's going to be, if it's the first pro everything's new. Right. So there is no guarantee. There are no guarantees. So um, it does mean a lot to this company, man. I'm, I'm so appreciative of our fans, our customers, this fandom, man, everything. Um, I, I'm just uh, it, it just feels good. It just feels good to be in this position. I thank uh, all of you so much. But I cannot say enough how blessed I am to be able to work with a guy like Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett, two, two industry veterans. And to be able to uh, uh, you know publish that story it was just uh, it just meant so much, it meant so much to the company, and we're we're so thankful for you guys. Alpha Core Number One's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.